you. What do you want? You're the only one that knows what I'm going through. You missed the funeral. I couldn't get away. Why the hell do you care? You told me to stay away. You were leaving every time he got used to you around here. But I loved him. I know. He did too. Second. He was afraid of sand. Until he built a sand castle. How are you? Better. Could be better, but still. You were a good mom. I don't want to talk about this. Okay, what do you want to talk about? How's New Orleans? I mean, it's okay. I'm doing the normal job and everything. This is nice. We haven't talked like this in forever. Not since you moved to New Orleans. Well, yeah. I don't know. I think we should just talk again sometime. I think we could really help each other. Yeah, sure. Okay. He came back Cajun. What? What, is, what does that mean? <laughs> it's just a joke my mom just say he's a construction worker. Or is he? Well, he was down in New Orleans working for a couple months and then Katrina hit. And he got promoted to help rebuild the city. And he wanted us to move down there. I didn't want to. And it just fell all apart from there. That's a bad story and bad for Luke. Eh, it doesn't matter now anyway. Moving back to New Orleans on Monday. Are you just not gonna say anything? What do you want me to say? You made a decision before. You did what you wanted. I did it for a job. I was helping rebuild an entire city. You could have went with me. I grew up here. I've lived here my whole life. I wanted my son to be like that. But you wanted to move him. It would have been no big deal at all. I didn't want to. That's the entire problem. You're too stubborn and selfish. Stubborn and selfish? No, not me. You're the one who's stubborn and selfish. You want to pack up your whole family and move. If you think that's what I was asking you to do, that's not what it is at all. I wasn't asking anything. You should go. You know, if maybe you would have moved with me, maybe Luke wouldn't have died. Get out! Now! Go 
Gordon? Is that you? Man, it's been years. Are you drunk? Cheryl and I got in a fight going back to New Orleans on Monday. What'd you say? I told her she was stubborn and selfish for not going with me the first time. And I said maybe Luke would still be alive if she had. Seriously? Man, that's the worst thing you could have said. Man, I understand why you went to New Orleans to pick up work, but she had real good reason to stay back home too. I, I just, I don't understand it. You had the wife, you had the beautiful child, like someone like me would have killed to be in a position that you were in. And, you, and you've messed it up again. What, what do you gotta say? I still love her. I mean, I always will. I just don't know what to do. Look, you can't make the same mistake twice. You gotta go fix this. Hello? Hello, this is Dr. Alex Alucianda from St. Clarence Hospital. I'll fill this space in between You are such a pretty thing Cheryl Young Reeves died April 28th, 2006 after her battle with cancer. Not everything's gonna last She refused treatment after the death of her one-year-old son, Luke Reeves. Colorado's coming Life is worth second chances. We won't get this day back. No, we won't get this day back.